Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is going to be about PhD interview. I will try to explain you the entire process of PhD interview. First we will discuss about what are the things you need to prepare before you go for a PhD interview. Then I will also talk about that what are the things you can expect during a PhD interview. What types of questions, what are general types of questions that can be asked during an interview and uh, an overall experience I will try to share with you. Okay, So that you can mentally prepare yourself. Uh, if this is the first time you are going for an interview all right so let's start with it but before going into that if you have any specific question if you have any thing related to uh, your interview or related to your preparation you can ask me which you think i have not covered in the video then in that case you can ask me on my uh, different social media profile all those might be there on your screen right now so let's start with it okay so the first thing is that what are the things you need to do before you go for an interview okay so let's say you have applied in a particular institute and you got your interview call. So before you go or before you appear in your interview, what are the things during that duration that you have to do? First important thing is your CV. Okay, you should have your CV prepared with you. Now generally they don't ask a CV directly in your application or somewhere, but you should have your CV prepared. I'll tell you where you are going to use that. Okay, but I have made a video on that, how to make a good CV, how to make an impactful CV. So when you are going in the research field when you are going in higher education it's very important how you are presenting yourself and for that sake your cv is something which is going to give the first impression of yours so you should have a very good cv prepared with you okay i have made a video please watch that video and try to make a good cv if you have not watched that video link is there in the i button you can watch that okay the second and the most important thing okay even more important than your cv is your area of interest so you should be clear with your area of interest you should have a clear idea about area of interest now throughout this video i'll be talking about chemistry as a subject uh, because i have been through all my interviews using chemistry or i'm a chemistry student so i'll be talking about that but if you belong to any other subject also life sciences physical sciences in any other subject uh, overall experience is going to be some or the other same just the topics are going to be different okay so be with me just consider it as an example and try to understand what I am trying to say. Okay, So when I am talking about area of interest for chemistry people, your area of interest should not be like organic chemistry or inorganic chemistry. You should not have a broad area of interest. Okay, You should have a particular area of interest. You should have a particular thing in mind that this is something which I like doing. Okay, For example, if you are someone who like organic chemistry okay so but you cannot say in the interview or you cannot have a area of interest of organic chemistry because then you are basically opening the whole spectrum of topics from organic chemistry and uh, that is going to be very difficult even that does not give a good impact on the interviewer the interviewer understands okay you don't have a clear mindset for your higher education or for your higher studies second thing is that they might ask question from anywhere from organic chemistry that is going to make things difficult for you okay so try to choose a particular topic of interest it can be organic synthesis or it can be uh, spectroscopy organic spectroscopy or it can be asymmetric synthesis uh, it can be anything related to organic chemistry similarly if you are someone who is interested in inorganic chemistry then there are different fields like supramolecular chemistry metal organic frameworks Okay, there are a lot of field of inorganic chemistry. You have to do research about it. Uh, go to some AI, uh, go to chat GPT and ask what are area of in research. If you are not aware about what are the different area of research. Okay, so you can just ask chat, chat GPT about a particular topic and you will get results. Okay, and then for physical chemistry, there are different li uh, fields like uh, there is uh, material science, uh, then there is nanomaterials related uh, field, then you have uh, like uh, solar cell related field, then you have like solid state related things so e basically you have to be clear about what area of interest you have you should not have something very broad in mind and you should not just tell that okay be particular about the topic of interest same goes for any other student belonging to any other field or any other uh, uh, like any other subject okay you should have a very clear mindset about a particular topic which you are going to say in the interview okay so this is second most important thing which is area of interest the third thing which you have to do is you have to now try to analyze where you are going or where you are going to give your interview. Let's say you have got an interview call from IIT Delhi. Okay, So you have to go to the website of IIT Delhi and you have to do two things. Number one, again I am telling about chemistry student. Okay, So you have to go to the uh, like to the website of IIT Delhi 
to the chemistry department and then see how many professors are there what are the different labs particularly you have to see those labs which are working in the area of interest of yours so if you are organic synthesis if organic synthesis is your area of interest so you have to note down the name of the professors who are working in organic synthesis okay number one i'm mean, like this is one part of the third part okay third important thing then you also have to see that what are the instrumentation the department has generally these all things are documented on the website of all these institutes so you have to go and check what are the instruments they have okay these things are going to help you to answer questions when you will sit for interview okay and this also makes or gives a good impression to the interviewer that you are well aware about the institute you have done well research about it and then you are sitting in the interview okay so these are certain things which you have to do before you go for interview so you are done with your cv your area of interest and then you have done some research about the institute you have seen the institute page you have seen which labs are working in that particular field what are the instrumentations provided in that particular institute next thing which you can do is you can email to those professors who are working in the similar area of interest let's say your area of interest was organic synthesis and you found three professors who are working in uh, organic synthesis so you can mail to all the three professors or you can mail to uh, like anyone if you are very much selective about it so you can mail to them uh, write them down a good email uh, write them that you have went through their work now you cannot just blindly write it down okay you have to go to their lab pages individually you have to see what work they are doing because they will always have a summary of their work like what work is going on in their lab they must have mentioned on their website and then they must have also given the recent publications so try to see that what type of work they are doing try to take some words from there understand what they are doing if you are not able to understand something just use uh, again use ai use chat gpt or any other platform to understand what type of work is being done and if it resonates with your interest if you are interested now uh, with the what they are doing write a good email uh, mentioning that you went through their profile and you are interested or or whatever work they are doing you that aligns with your area of interest and you want to work under their guidance or want to work in their lab now this is going to give a very good uh, like impact when you will go for interview because the professor will get to know that okay so and so person has mailed me okay it might happen that the professor might reply you or does not reply you doesn't matter okay you have to email them now email also you will get on their page web page only so this is going to give an impact to the professor that you have certain area of interest which aligns with their area of interest and if you join their lab you are going to be useful for them okay so the better way of writing an email is that you should uh, like uh, you should mention that uh, you are interested in their lab you have read their work and that aligns with your work and how your your knowledge or whatever you have studied how that is going to impact or how that is going to be useful if they will hire you in their lab okay if you have no experience if you don't have any experience prior experience of research then also you can write down that because you are so much keenly interested in the topic you will be a good asset to the lab and you have a good learning ability and all those things okay if you want i can make a detailed video on how to write an email but for now i think you understood what is the what is the thing you have to do here right so write an email to the professor mentioning about all these things okay the next thing which you have to do is if this is now objective okay this is like optional if you have done some master's project so then read about that project again okay if you have done let's say master one year back or two years back and if you have done some project over there just try to refresh that because you might expect some questions in interview based upon your uh, like project which you have done in case if you have not done any project or not done any thesis or project work during your masters doesn't matter okay you don't you just skip this step okay so these are the things which you have to be prepared before you go for interview okay before you sit for the interview now when you go for interviews since covid like after covid there is now many institute follow a hybrid model so like they can either give you option for online or offline okay some institutes might strictly ask you to come and give interview in their place or uh, an offline interview some might give you a hybrid option so if they are giving you hybrid option and if you are choosing online option then make sure your internet is well it is it should not be laggy you should have a good internet speed okay just check your internet speed and try to make sure that it it is not lagging because you cannot miss the opportunity just because of a bad internet connection okay 
this is again another optional point all right now these are the things you have done with it you have prepared and you are now uh, well prepared for your interview or of course all your documents and other things you have to keep with you now i'll be telling you everything with respect to a offline interview i'll talk about online if that is online i'll be just adding a points over there okay when you go for interview the first question or the starting of the interview is going to be about your introduction you have to introduce yourself now in your introduction you don't have to start telling your father's mother's name i hope you understand all these things introduction means you have to academically introduce yourself whatever you have mentioned in your cv okay i just missed this that whatever cv you have prepared that cv you can attach to the professor when you are writing mail to the professor right uh, telling him that you are interested in so and so lab you can also attach your cv over there that is going to give uh, the professor a chance to go through your academic profile and get to know that what are the achievements you have got or what uh, when you have done masters or all those things okay okay coming back again so when you go for interview they will ask you to in introduce your yourself so start with the thing that uh, your name from where you have done masters and uh, from where you have done bachelors so this this is going to be the basic introduction okay now they will ask you that what is your area of interest okay so now you have to tell this is very like very generic interview how it goes okay they are going to ask you what is the area of interest so if you have if you are clear with the interview uh, area of interest as i have said you are well prepared with it you are going to tell that uh, area of interest to the professor and now they are going to start asking questions related to your area of interest okay so let's say you have said organic synthesis so they will start asking questions based upon organic synthesis first of all they will ask they might ask you whether you have any prior experience of organic synthesis or not whether you have done some synthetic lab work or not okay so in case if you have done you can mention that if case if you have not done again mention that okay tell them very clearly everything don't no need to hide there are there is like 70 80% of institutes in india who do not have good uh, like lab uh, you can say experience okay so you can you can expect that there are many students who will not be having these uh, research experience so you you should not shy away from telling them this okay tell them clearly that you do not have a research experience that is not going to be any negative point because they also understand it okay they are also from the same place they are also from the same country they understand that all right now they will start asking questions related to that in case if you are from organic synthesis you can expect questions like generic name reactions reagents some mechanisms they might ask now again when you go for an interview you should expect this thing that they are going to ask you to do things on the board okay now many students are not aware about it and when they go for interview it, it comes as a shock to them and they become nervous over there okay you don't have to be nervous there will be a board and because you are going for a higher education you are going for a higher study uh, they also see that how you are using the board and doing the things okay so if they ask you to do or draw something or uh, like draw mechanism or write a mechanism or something you have to do that on the board okay in case if you are giving an online interview keep a paper and pen with you because they might ask you at any time to draw or to write down the mechanism you have to make that on the paper and you have to show them okay so this is how online and offline goes again in the interview panel you can, there will be like more than one professor so you can't expect a single person there will be like minimum 5 to 7 people in the panel there could be more and depending upon their expertise they will start asking questions sometimes it might happen that your area of interest was organic synthesis but somebody start asking questions from uh, let's say quantum chemistry okay which was not your area of interest and but because that professor is from that field so he will ask a question right of course so he will ask a question let's say from his area of interest he has asked a question and those type of questions are like tricky they just want to check you that how you are responding to that so if you know the answer you can tell them if you don't know it you can just tell them that sorry sir i don't know about it and um, just just mention that okay you should not do it in a way that uh, uh, you start making something up during the question session okay you start trying to answer it some way some uh, somewhat or some way okay and in that case if you are wasting the time that is a, going to be a negative point okay or that is going to create a negative impact so whatever you know tell them clearly if you don't know tell them clearly okay so that is something uh, which is 
uh, which should be very clear to uh, to the person that okay you don't know this thing even if some question is from your area of interest and if you have never heard of it or if you don't know about it just tell them that you don't know there could be some hard questions there could be some very difficult questions from your area of interest and they might ask you to check that how you are approaching to that question okay try to explain them in a easier way try to make the things understandable so that the other person understands they are more intelligent than you they are they have more experience than you so don't try to make up something over there okay they are not going to become like that okay you have to be clear and you have to be straightforward with your uh, explanation over there all right now i'll add something for those who are willing to switch their field someone who has done masters in let's say organic chemistry and want to do phd in inorganic chemistry or in physical chemistry so in that case that question is definitely going to come to you because they will ask you what was the, your specialization during masters that is also one generic question and your area of interest if both aligns in the same field that is fine but if let's say your uh, masters was in organic chemistry and your phd your area of interest is let's say quantum chemistry or something from uh, physical or inorganic chemistry they will definitely ask you that why you are switching your field and then you have to answer that question in a very reasonable and a very convincing way so that uh, it should look justified that yes why you are switching your field okay if you want i can make a detailed video on uh, how to face interviews or regarding switching field okay i'll talk about that in a separate video because that's a different topic but yeah these are certain things for your phd interview these are certain things which you can expect in the phd interview all right uh, again it might happen in certain interviews that if the number of aspirants are quite big they might have a quick test okay they, they might give you mcqs 10 or 20 mcqs just to scrutinize some students one or two prior round of uh, written test before interview this has happened earlier in iit gandhinagar i remember it has also happened in uh, iit guwahati so it might happen okay so just be prepared with that also uh, that you might have to face all these things as well okay so these were some basic things which i found that could be useful for someone who is going for a phd interview for the first time i thought of including everything which i remember as of now and i can compile all of them in a single video if you have any specific question as i mentioned you can ask me on my instagram portal or on my linkedin profile and i'll try to answer you over there uh, if you want and if you have any specific or major query i'll try to make a detailed video later on so that's it from my side for this particular video i hope you guys liked it and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care and if you are preparing for your interview all the best for that